loves welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here I hope you're all well today's just gonna be a mishmash of a vlog you know I like filming these I actually just like filming things on random days putting it all together in a vlog I suppose that is what a vlog is but you know what I mean I just like to just film loads of stuff but today what I wanted to film I mentioned the other day I wanted to talk to you about a few favorites because I've got quite a few favorites that I've been absolutely loving recently so I thought I'd start the vlog with some of my favourites. So what else have we got going on in this vlog? I think we've got some like a charity shop shopping video, but let's get started and I'm gonna talk you through a few of my favourites. I think what we'll start with first is probably beauty because you know I love beauty. We've got some hair bits in here. We've got some homeware bit. We've also got some fragrance as well because I said I was gonna to talk to you a little bit more about a fragrance within my videos. So let's get started with the beauty. So I mentioned this recently, maybe in a video or two before, and it is the Benetint tint, basically. So it's like a lip and cheek tint that you can put on your lips or cheeks. I have been wearing it on my lips and I just love it. I really love it. The only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't last very long. Considering it's a tint, I do find that it doesn't last that long. I really love the colour that it is. And what I tend to do is I will use like a, like a brownie kind of lip liner, like a neutral brown lip liner. Then I'll pop on the tint on my lips, which gives me more of a pink tone. I've just got a lip balm over the top at the minute and it just adds a little bit of shine but I absolutely love the colour of it so easy to apply you literally just apply it to your lips let it dry down and then you've got your colour so I like to wear that even without any balm on top as well just because it's a really lovely everyday kind of lip shade so I love wearing that very easy to like reapply and this the t stain does like kind of wear off quite nicely as well so that has been my favorite lip product this month i've been using it every day i can't remember the last time i didn't use it so yeah i've been using that i did also mention the other day i just want to mention it quickly again the honey glue original super hold brow glue so it's like a brow um balm or like a wax it smells so nice and i just got this off of tiktok shop it comes with a little spoolie literally just apply it to your brows i applied this this morning and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now you can see how my eyebrows have stayed in place all day they've not budged so yeah it's a really good product for that what i tend to do as well what i think is the best way to apply it is if you put all the product on the brush and then if you just kind of brush it backwards and forwards throughout your hairs and then brush it into place i find that that is the best way to do it so you get as much product onto your brows as you can with your fingers just kind of flatten it and get any excess product off and it kind of just sticks them in place and they're there for good so i've been absolutely loving that as well so that is my kind of makeup essentials that i've been loving this month and been using a lot this month right so we've talked makeup now let's move on to some skincare products that i've been really enjoying so i've been trying this brand out for the last month or so and it's called the skin house so it's a korean beauty brand they have got some incredible products that i've been trialing out my favorite here is the serum the serum is so good this is a wrinkle supreme serum so this is an anti-wrinkle serum which i definitely need if you want a product to help reduce fine lines and wrinkles this serum is the one for you but also i've been using the wrinkle cream as well so this is a wrinkle supreme cream they've got the same ingredients this will just double up on the nourishment and hydration of your skin in the serum you've got nine types of mushroom you've got red ginseng and you've also got adenosine all of these ingredients really help to nourish your skin, help with those fine lines and give you that kind of glass skin effect, which I absolutely love. You know, even when you're having a makeup free day and you just want to have really gorgeous looking skin, using these products have really, really helped with that for me. I absolutely love having makeup free days and I love my skin to look really nourished and healthy. I don't really like it if my skin looks dry. I have noticed as I'm getting older that my skin does get a little bit drier. So these together, are the perfect little duo but i have been also enjoying the toner so i've been using the supreme toner all of these products are really lightweight you know when you want a product that's going to be really moisturizing really hydrating they can often be quite thick and rich and heavy on your skin these feel so lightweight on your skin even when you're layering them on top of each other you don't get that feeling that you've got lots of product on your skin so ones that are going to let my skin breathe but also nourish my skin at the same time are really important to me so i'll show you the kind of texture of them so this here is the supreme toner it's so so lightweight look at this it's kind of like a gel watery formula and it just sinks into the skin as you can see it's barely there it 
feels so good and what i have noticed when i use these products is the next morning when i wake up my skin has got like a glow about it i look really glowy and it looks almost a little bit plumper i think so this is the supreme serum which is definitely my favorite of all of them i just find it so lightweight on the skin and you literally need one or two pumps to cover your whole face and again it's very very nice and lightweight and it's just beautiful. So I love, love, love that one. If you want to achieve that kind of deep hydration and firmer looking skin, then these products together are incredible. My hand is very, very hydrated now. It literally looks so hydrated and it smells so nice as well. So they do have a slight scent to them. And what I would say is the scent is very fresh, almost like cucumber. It just smells very clean and fresh. That's how I would describe it. I love using these at night time just because it makes my skin feel so good. And it's just a nice little treat for my skin. So if you're wanting some new skincare products that are going to hydrate and firm your skin, I would definitely recommend this Wrinkle Supreme range by The Skin House. I'll link them down below for you. They are available on Amazon and also on the skin house website so i'll link those down below so you can go check them out have a little read about them i've also been really enjoying this this is a black snail collagen cream when i read the name of this i was like oh it kind of like put me off a little bit and then i tried it and i was like okay i get the hype of this product this is really hyped up as well and it smells beautiful and it's got a slimy texture slimy not sticky so it doesn't feel sticky on your skin but it is like slimy and if you have a little look at this like i mean it just looks really weird but it's so so nice on the skin i feel like this is the perfect kind of moisturizer and base for your makeup products because i feel like they just stick to your skin and it again gives you that glass effect on your skin so nice i actually really love the texture of it i thought at first it was so strange because i've never tried a product like it my skin has just felt really nice this month and it's felt really glowy and like i said i've not really been feeling my best over the last couple of months so having products that are going to make me feel good and help with my wrinkles is even better now we're going to move on to some hair products i've been loving one hair product actually in particular and one hair tool that i've been really enjoying so first of all i haven't had my hair colored in eight weeks i can't quite believe it's been eight weeks actually because i literally had to look back on my calendar just to double check so i've been saying it's been like five weeks since my hair but it's actually been eight weeks and actually i think it looks great it does need a wash so that's why it's up today and this product here is by l'oreal so i have mentioned the l'oreal magic retouch spray before to cover my grays but i find that this one is actually a bit nicer for my hair because i can be a little bit more precise with it i haven't got loads and loads of gray hairs so i tend to just use this in my parting if i'm going out or if i you know want to cover up the grays i don't tend to use it every day it's more of a product that i'll use if i'm going out if i've got a day out and you know i want my hair to look extra nice then i'll just cover up my grays with this so this is what it looks like it's by l'oreal and i use the shade brown and it's just a it's a bit like a hair mascara i suppose it comes on a flat wand though i don't know it's like a flat plastic wand like this and it works really well on my hair i don't know if i'm going to be able to demonstrate it hold on let's see you can kind of see a few of my grays up here because i've just popped my hair up um so i'm going to put some on there for you so you can see so you literally just apply it like this and then it just goes wet so you just need to kind of wait for it to dry you can probably see there's like a grey here as well and that is what it looks like after it just needs to kind of dry down so yeah it definitely covers my greys very quickly very easily it's just convenient i find that the spray i do like the spray but it's a little bit more if my greys are you know extra crazy but when you just have your hair up like this you don't need to kind of spray your whole head you can just use something like this and kind of spot treat it i suppose and put it where exactly you need it so i like that i haven't really tested it to see if it kind of transfers on your bed or anything like that but to be honest i tend to use this when my hair is ending up needing a wash so i'll probably wash it the next day anyway I'm going to wash mine tomorrow but yeah I've been enjoying that it's a great product if you need to just conceal any greys and yeah I've been using that so that's my favorite product for greys at the minute I like trialing new products I feel like I'm in my hair era at the moment and I'm obsessed with finding products that work for me currently obviously I've got brunette hair so finding products that work for my brunette hair my color treated hair and also my grey hairs because you know we're getting older and grey hairs are appearing so 
you know, I'm just trying to find products that work for me. But next, I'm going to tell you about an item. Now, this is a little bit more of a pricey item. I was kind of gifted this one by GHD. And it is the GHD Duet Style. So, I think I might have shown this or mentioned it within a video before. Have I? I'm not sure. I've definitely done a couple of reels on it. And I like to use this in a, in a few different ways. So, this is what it looks like. So, this is a styler that dries your hair and also straightens your hair as well. So, it smooths it out. And this is what it looks like. So, this is definitely a lot quieter than a hairdryer. So, it's so stylish. I love the way it looks. I've got the white one. It does come in black as well. And this basically, like I said, will dry your hair from wet. Like, it, it completely dries and, like, smooths out your hair. Which, for me, you guys know I've got quite curly, wavy hair. And I, I wasn't sure how this was going to work on my hair. But it's absolutely brilliant. It's been working so well on my hair. Whenever I wash my hair, I always kind of leave it straight on the first day. This has been brilliant because this straightens my hair anyway. So I just don't have to blow dry it. I just use this. So using this minimises breakage and heat damage, which is brilliant. Obviously, I don't want to put much heat on my hair at the minute. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can with it. But I do use heat on my hair on a weekly basis. So using something like this is a little bit more gentle on my hair. It's also got the shine shot on here. So this is what you'll use after when your hair is all dry then go over with the shine shot and that will just give you the extra shine and smoothness that you want after drying your hair and my favorite way to use it after I've dried my hair I'll then use the shine shot but what I'll do is as I'm using the shine shot I kind of tend to turn it towards me so I'm creating like um, a curl inwards almost and when I do that in sections over the whole of my head it gives that blow dry effect so it looks like I've had a blow dry without actually having a blow dry it's brilliant. I can't blow dry my hair at all. I like to use tools that help me do that and give that effect. So this has been absolutely brilliant at doing that. And that style will last me a couple of days. And if I need to go back over it, then I'll just go back over it with the shine shot a couple of days later. And it just, it's, it really does make my hair feel so silky smooth. And it feels like I've been to the salon. Like, you know that feeling when you've been to the salon when someone else does your hair for you? That is the feeling I get when I use the duet styles. Let's move on to fake tan. I've got a tanning product and I've got um, a perfume and then I'll move on to a couple of home bits as well. So fake tan wise, actually I've got something different on at the minute. This is what wearing off now. When did I last apply this now? I can't even remember when I applied this last. <coughs> I can't remember when I applied this actually last, probably four or five days ago. So it's wearing off, but you can see I've got a nice kind of olive tan. And I've been using this by Garnier. They sent this to me. This is the Garnier Ombre Solaire Natural Bronzer Self Tan Mousse Hydrating Coconut Water. So you can see I've used quite a lot of it, over half of it now. And this is brilliant. It smells gorgeous. It smells so nice. And I will tend to put this on during the day and I'll wash it off at night time just because I don't like to wear tan at night time. However, I have worn it in bed and it's been fine. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It will stay sticky for, you know, a few minutes and then it just dries down completely and you don't feel like you've got it on your skin. So it provides a streak-free, natural-looking tan which gradually increases, leaving you with a tan that lasts up to one week. Suitable for face and body, quick drying, coconut summery fragrance. So yeah, it's great. You can allow this tan to develop for just one hour and then wash it off if you want to. Like I said, I like to leave it on for a few hours. I like that it's clear. So if you're putting it on in the day, you're not gonna have that guide color that can sometimes look a little bit dirty or muddy. This will just develop really nicely and it won't transfer. So it's great, definitely gonna repurchase it. I feel like this is such a nice tan to apply as your top up tan. You know I love Saint Tropez. I've been wearing Saint Tropez ever since I started wearing fake tan, but I do like to dabble in and try new products every now and then, and this has been great. And then I'm gonna go in and tell you about a fragrance that I've been loving. So I've got this little set from Oliver Bonus when I was there a few weeks ago and it's by the brand Floral Street and it's just got loads of testers of their fragrances. One fragrance in particular stood out for me and I just love it. It's very different to the fragrances I currently have and it's called Arizona Bloom. So this is a sunny, euphoric, nomadic, free-spirited scent and I do think it's very sunny. Sunny is definitely the word for it. It's got, oh, I, just, I just love it. I literally love it. I don't want to use it because I feel like I'm so at the bottom. Look how much I've used it. There's basically nothing left. So I have to be so careful 
<laughs> because I need to buy a full size bottle. Um, but this again has got, it reminds me a little bit of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. If you remember that fragrance, my mum used to wear that all the time when I was young. And it's got that very summery, fresh scent to it. But this one has got that hint of, it's got a hint of coconut in it. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like lemony, coconutty, fresh beautiful summer fragrance if you need a summer fragrance this one is gorgeous very nice very light but lasts long and i always get compliments when i've been wearing this recently so i would definitely recommend this one it's absolutely beautiful i need to buy the full size one i'm not really loving the rest of these ones there's a couple that i like but that one particularly it just drew me in and I just love it. So I'm definitely going to purchase that one. And once I run out of that, which is basically now. I haven't really got anything like it within my fragrance collection. And I think that's important to have like different types of fragrances to suit your mood for the day, the weather, or what you're wearing sometimes. If you want to feel a certain way. It makes me feel sunny. It makes me feel happy. It's got like a zing to it. It's really gorgeous. And like I said, I've not got anything like it. And now I'm going to talk to you about a couple of home bits. So I did buy a olive tree, like a photo olive tree from La Redoute and it's so so gorgeous I love it I originally bought this for Orlando's bedroom because I thought maybe I could put something like that in his room but then it arrived and I really liked it in the living room so it's staying in the living room it was on sale it's not too big and it doesn't look too fake you know some olive trees they look a little bit fake it comes in a little black pot I've just put it into a pot that I've currently got from home base, I think I bought it from. Yeah, it was home base that I got that one from. I want to get a slightly bigger pot. I did actually buy another pot from Ikea, which I'll show you in another video, but I think that one might work well for it as well. I need to get the moss that goes around the top of the pot as well, just to kind of give it that more real look and effect. So I'll show you that in another video. And my last home favourite has to be the shelving that has been recently done in our house. I just love it so much and I'm really, really happy with it. You guys absolutely loved it too so thank you for all of the feedback on it and a few of you did ask actually about um why i haven't removed the shelving which is next to it and if you haven't seen that area before so like the entry hallway area you won't know that we've got it's basically a picture rail so it goes all the way around the room so you literally can't remove it i wouldn't remove it anyway because i just love the way it looks so that's why it kind of looks a little bit odd there but it just had to work like that because you couldn't remove it otherwise it would look really strange so yeah the shelving itself looks absolutely beautiful i really love how it's styled now so i don't even want to move anything i even put this little pot on there the other day that Vinny made so you know at the end of the year the kids come back with all of their school work all of the creations that they've made throughout the year and you're like where do I put all of this stuff now let me know if you keep it all I actually don't keep all of it but there are a few pieces that I like to keep and kind of put away for the future so we can kind of look back on it which is really cute Vinny came back with this little pot and it was painted in gold it had like little red details on it and he must have made it I think he was doing something like um he was learning about ancient Greece and all of that kind of stuff so I'm assuming that's why he made it and he comes back with it he's like oh god yeah you know you look like you don't have to keep it kind of thing bless him he's so sweet but I wanted to keep it. I think it looks great. It's got that vintage look that I love and it's been made by Vinny. So I think it's a lovely little special edition. To the shelves, when he saw me put it on there, he kind of rolled his eyes at like, are you being serious? Are you actually keeping it? But um, I am keeping it. It's cute and Vinny's made it. So that has been a lovely little addition to our shelves. And I think they look styled up so nicely now. I absolutely love how it's all looking all together. And I don't think I'm going to change anything until Christmas. So Christmas is coming. I feel like Christmas is coming now. Coming quicker than ever because this weather has been on another level. I can't believe we're about to have rain for like a month. I'm really gutted about it. <laughs> uh, for someone that loves winter, I actually, I do love all of the seasons. But I feel a bit like, oh, if we're going to have rain already, I feel like it's going to feel like such a long autumn winter, don't you think? So I really do hope that the sun comes out for us. We're getting cosy in the house already, it seems. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving that shelving situation. Next month is going to be the doors that are going to be my favourite because the doors will definitely be done by next month. But let me know what your favourite is this month. I did want to mention a couple of podcasts as well, actually, before I go because I do love a podcast and a couple that I've been loving is Nearlyweds, uh, it's now Newlyweds. So Jamie Lang and his, well, was wife-to-be Sophie Habu, but they are now married. They've got a podcast. It's just brilliant. I love listening to them both. I love listening to the listeners' messages. It's literally hilarious. And if you listen to the podcast the other day when Jamie was talking about their Vespa trip, when they were on the Vespa, going to, I think they were going to a party or a wedding or something 
on their Vespa. That story is hilarious, you have to go and listen to it. It's so, so funny. And Sophie also has a podcast with her friend, Melissa, um, and that's called Wednesdays We Drink Wine. So I just love to listen to them both. I just think it's a really nice escape for me. I often will watch the podcast because so you, you can just have it on in the background. They have started putting their podcasts onto YouTube as well now, so you can watch them. Um, but sometimes, you know, like when you're in the shower, you can just listen to the podcast and it's just so funny. It has me in stitches all the time. They come up with the, the funniest stories. So I've been really enjoying those two podcasts. Let me know if you listen to any podcasts as well and what your recommendations are. I love ones like that that are just like funny. Um, and yeah, I really enjoy it. So those are my favourites of the month. Let me know what you've been loving recently. And let's move on to the charity shops. Let's go shopping. Hello, we're off to the charity shops today. I feel like we haven't been to the charity shops in so long. So I just thought we'd go have a little mooch about. I've got hair on my nose, what is going on here? I haven't been to the charity shops in ages, so I thought we'd go and have a little mooch around today. So I thought I'd take you with me. Yeah, let's go to the charity shop, see what's new in. Well, see what things we can find. And if I buy anything, I will do a little haul at the end. Are you ready to go to the charity shops, babe? Oh, I'm ready as I'll ever be. Been for ages. I feel like we need to get um one of those like car mounts so you can put the camera in here so we can like do chatting and talking good, when we're driving. Man. Yeah, you can. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? So you can like mount it. Huh. I don't know how we'd be able to do that, but oh, so when you're driving along? Yeah, so you, it would just be up ah, here. Look at that, look. Our air freshener in. This is that one that we got from um, Home Bargains. I like a bit of lemon in the morning. It smells like lemon sherbet, it's doesn't actually it? Actually, like a nice one for a car. Rupert Buckley. Never heard of it. Rufa and Buckley, both racing. You like that mirror there? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Some there? nice mirrors in here. Come on, which one are you picking? Oh, depends where it's going. When I saw when I came in, I really liked that one. That's a mirror, mirror on the wall, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you like those two up there? The top. Oh, that one. Yeah. Bit boring. Boring option, but. It's it's a it looks like it expands because you can see that middle bit there. An extender. Yeah. Loads of nice furniture in here. Look at those lampshades, I like those. These are quite cool. I'm not keen on that really. Oh yeah. This looks like a, is it like a piano stool? This is funny, because it's like a stool, but like a. That's for putting like little glasses and bits on, isn't it? Putting your shoes on, sitting no, on no, it, no, put no. your shoes on. It's not C, is it? Oh, it looks like it is. It's putting glasses on, isn't it? Nah. A fine Regency stool. It is a stool, yeah. I like these, these are rustic aren't they? I thought this would make a good upcycling project. If you painted that, or sanded it back, it looks a little bit like our oh, new shelves. Because that. That. Oh, yeah. it's got like the tongue and groove on the back as well. Pine. That would come out really nice. Could be quite good somewhere, couldn't they? Big statement. Do you know what those would look good? Like up our stairs, one of God, those. They look good, like two actually. Yeah, they're cool aren't they? I like them. You know what I like? Deco feel. Art oh, deco, yeah. And then he's like, that's a nice oh, little metal gosh, bed there, look. Bed frame. £65 each, yeah. Well, that's not bad, is it? That's quite good. I mean, I don't think I'd... I think if it was like double the size, I would just have one up the stairs. That would look yeah, well good. Like that. Oh, there's someone under there. <laughs> Do not touch. Ta. Oh, you God. Imagine. <laughs> you imagine. Well, these little trinkets. Look, the boys with their opals. Oh, my God, yeah. Put all their opals in there. These are actually really pretty, like these little ones. I like this lampshade. Edwardian bougerie. Wow, 200 quid. No, these would work really well if you had an island and you had like three long pendants coming down. Yeah. And then just these like really pretty, aren't they? Like really dainty lights above the island. I love that. How much are they? £9.50. That is an absolute bargain. That's so cheap. I love them. This one's yeah, pretty yeah. as well. Yeah. Christmas tree one. Christmas trees. Don't that's for Christmas. That's for a Christmas, Christmas tree. tree yeah. Christmas tree stand. Yeah. Yeah. 
like a toy box but the thing is it's just a bit heavy for boys to like it's really like that is it like yeah, really really like oh really oh yeah what's it made from do you think metal isn't it is it metal probably metal isn't it yeah. i don't know what was it like a like a canvas like a hardened yeah it looks like that like plaster of paris maybe <laughs> no i'm being serious <laughs> it isn't it's not metal. No, some bit is. It's but definitely yeah. been. Do you know what I mean? It's like hard and. It's like been sealed with something, isn't it? Do you like that? Yes, yeah, quite cool. A vintage box. What are you putting there? It was yours. Shoes and bags. Oof. Do you reckon they would have done that back in the day? Maybe like to imagine like getting on like the Titanic. They'd have like oh. little trunks like this, wouldn't they? With like all their stuff in it. Draco. Malfoy. Maybe it's Malfoy's. Oh my god. <laughs> Harry is Potter. Is it? This is what they took on bloody um, Hogwarts Express. Oh my god, imagine. Where's the wand? I mean, like a little um, owl. I'm just trying to see Come if there's any information on it. Doesn't look like it. It's like with the name out there. Yeah. I, the name was. I like the stripy interior. Yeah, that's Matches very like Orlando's um, room. bossy. Yeah. It's like um, wallpaper, isn't it? It's oh, like being stuck in there. It's paper. We could do that. Cool, I like that. That's, that's cool. That is pretty grand. That's isn't nice, it? isn't it? Sold. That is lovely. Look at the size it's building up. I know, this is like a, is it an old church? It must be. This is cool, like all car memorabilia lit, babe. We could probably get something for Orlando in here. I had a Tonka truck, didn't you? Did you? Well, no, I didn't. Literally like that. Well, <gasps> That good. picture's cool behind it. Racing. Wow, there's loads of car stuff in here. We can get something yeah, for Orlando's like a car, bedroom. like a thing. I love that. That's actually, that's, smart. that's well good. That's Perfect. really cool. Wowzers, look at all these. A little racing one. This is a racing picture. This is quite a cool one. This is ideal, isn't it? I like that. I do like these kind of vintagey things as well. You can just stick yeah. them up, can't you? Ford. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. That one's cool. It's like, kind yeah. of matches the blue in Orlando's bedroom, doesn't Charles it? Um, Charles bike. Oh, bloody old bike. Wow, that is so old, that bike. The tyres. They're not even like inflated, but they're just mm. solid. Whoa. Solid rubber. That would have been uncomfortable, wouldn't it? <laughs> Look at these cans. This is mental. Yeah. What's it called, this thing, though? What's it called when it's all like this? It's called like. Memorabilia. No. Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, got a name. It's like. It's a little Mustang. See that one? What are these? Waxes. Empty wax tins. Buffing, isn't it? Huh. Really lit. That's what I look like. So. <laughs> oh god. This cute basket. Look at that. I love that. Asprey London basket, £25. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, loads of baskets down here. Yeah, we like it. We like an old pot, don't we? Look at all of these terracotta pots. I love all of these. So nice. What are they, urns? Yeah. They're quite good for the garden. Do you want a dolly? <laughs> Not sure I do on that one. Jeez, man. Wow. Really, uh, <laughs> <chocolate, isn't it? laughs> These must be jelly moulds, babe. Oh. To make a jelly. I bet someone got that for like their wedding one day, one year. Arthur Price cutlery. Nice, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That's definitely like a yeah. wedding gift, that. Is this like to hang your clothes up? Mm. I think that's a DIY one. Yeah, vintage clothes horse. Oh, drying your clothes, yeah. It is actually a vintage clothes horse. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want to walk in here in a dark night. Like, look at that. Oh my god. Imagine. Victorian school. I think you filmed that before. Ooh, scary. <laughs> I quickly wanted to pop on and show you what I got in the charity shop the other day. I actually got this from the antique shop, so it's more of like a big shop. It was the one that looked like a church. Um, you would have seen that we looked at some automobilia. I think that's what it's called. And I got these for Orlando's bedroom. He loves cars, you know he loves cars. And these are like a metal picture, like a metal print, I suppose. So we got this one, which is a Triumph Stag, and it was £7.50. I love that it had the blue, which works so well for Orlando's bedroom. So I did pick more ones that look like they would suit his room. So I went for that one. And then I also went for this one as well. So it's got this blue, um, what is it called? Transit in the blue. I just think that is so cool. He's gonna love that. I'm trying to collect pieces that I can kind of gather 
on his wall that are going to be different like either depths or textures i think the mickey mouse picture is kind of going to go in the middle of it and then i'm just going to put these around it i don't know how i'm going to style it yet but i'm just trying to collect a little bit that's going to work really well in his room and i've put these up in his room like against the wall and they just work really nicely with the colors like i said they were seven pound fifty these are not antique they are new um but they've got that antique look to them so i love that and those i found in the antique shop so i got those two bits and that is about it really i don't think there's anything else to show you in this vlog so i'm going to leave the video there thank you so so much for watching guys i've got a few new videos coming up for you so i hope you enjoy them and i will see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>